we're going to continue to think about Christianity. Within Christianity, we're going to talk about the special person, Jesus. On our last video, we talked all about how Jesus was born in Bethlehem, but he grew up in a special place called Nazareth. Can you remember the name of his mum? You're right, it was Mary. He had a special job. He was a carpenter. That meant he worked with wood. He also had another job. He would spread God's word amongst the people. We know that Jesus had 12 special friends that helped him with this job. These special friends were called disciples. But how did he meet these special friends? Let's find out. One day, Jesus walked along the banks of the Sea of Galilee. He saw two fishermen standing on the shore. He said to Simon and Andrew, Come follow me, and I will make you the fishers of men. Immediately, the two men left their nets and followed Jesus. Jesus walked along the shoreline with Simon and Andrew. They saw a small fishing boat with two brothers and their fathers in. The men were getting their nets ready for a day of fishing. The brothers were called James and John. Jesus spoke to them. They also immediately left their nets, the boat and their father and followed Jesus. On the way to Galilee, Jesus found Philip and his friend Bartholomew. They started following Jesus and became his next disciples. Thomas and Matthew were Jesus' next disciples. Matthew was a tax collector and some people thought tax collectors were cheats, but Jesus knew that Matthew was a very good man. James was the youngest disciple and was sometimes called James the Younger. Simon and Thaddeus followed Jesus next and then Judas became Jesus' last disciple. Have you kept count of how many disciples Jesus had? You're right, he had 12 disciples. Together, Jesus and his disciples would spread the word of God. Jesus would carry out lots of miracles. He would also share some special stories called parables. I hope you've enjoyed learning all about Jesus and his disciples. Well done.